Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with the morning announcements. Good morning, El. Good morning, Hava. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Happy Friday, ladies. We got a brand new flag from a kindergartner, and his name is Valentino. He was so kind. He even put it. He even put his name on the flag there, ladies. What do you think? That's really cool. Oh, that's so nice. Big shout out to Valentino in kindergarten. L, lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you, L. Big shout out to Valentino in kindergarten. Woo, woo. Thank you for that awesome flag. Uh, welcome, everybody. Today is Friday, December 3rd. All right, December's flying by. We were just in November. All of a sudden, now we're already at the 3rd of December. Uh, we're expecting a high of 69 degrees. It's going to be uh, nice and warm in the afternoon, uh, and it should be a beautiful day. Haven't you guys loved the weather? Yes. Yes, I love how it's cold and it's warm and it's cold. It's just so fun. I love it. You get to wear a sweater in the morning and then take it off in the afternoon. Today's uh, Friday, and it's actually... Uh, this was the last week of November, and Hava, this is your Friday to join us. And so we're so looking forward to hearing about Hava's wonderful women in history. Who are yeah. you going to cover today? Shirley Temple. Um, the believe, Shirley Temple. The Shirley Temple. And I believe you have a picture of her, actually. Okay, let me, here she is. Here, here's the Shirley Temple. Tell us all about who Shirley Temple was. So Shirley Temple was born in 1928 and was a very famous actor, actor in her time. At only three years old, Shirley Temple starred in multiple movies. She mostly starred in movies from when she was three to 14. She went out of the movie business at age 22. And there's a drink out of her because kids can't have actual alcohol and most drinks and Shirley Temple went to a lot of parties where she couldn't drink the drinks a bartender decided to make a non-alcoholic mocktail for her and actually I have one right here and I can show you how to make it so all you need is seven up or any bubbly soda drink and what is this called um syrup cherry flavored syrup and you mix it all up and you get this wonderful delicious concoction and you can order that pretty much at any restaurant uh, that you go with your parents, right, Hava? I think so. Oh, take a sip. Tell us what it tastes like. Really good. Okay, really good. Elle, have you ever had one of those? Yes. Okay. So, boys and girls, if you've never ordered a Shirley Temple and you're out to dinner with your folks, uh, you can impress them by ordering a Shirley Temple. And she went, now you know that she was a famous actress and entertainer. And boy, was she talented. She could dance like crazy. Uh, Hava, thank you for sharing uh, a little bit about Shirley Temple with us this no morning. No problem. All right. Elle, uh, you got a weird but true fact for us this morning? Yes. Oh, oh, I can hardly wait. Let's see what you got. I probably, and I, I can't imagine how many movies Shirley Temple did, but I think it's probably more than 50. She did a lot of movies. Can you see it? Yeah. Some stores hire psychologists to help them predict what gifts shoppers are most likely to buy. So some stores hire psychologists to help them predict what gift shoppers are most likely to buy. Hava, did you have any idea of that? No, but when it's back to school shopping, I really need it because I have no idea what to buy. Okay, so some of the stores that you go to might be paying some of these psychologists to figure out what you will buy when you go into the store. That, I'll tell you right there, is a weird... Hava? Sorry, but true. Fact. All right, thank you, Elle. Oh, and you know what? There's a lot of talk about the internet too and uh, how they use what, what websites you visit to know what shopping you might be doing in the future. Uh, ladies, I want to talk to you. Any idea why I'm dressed like this? I got my number eight jersey. I got my whistle. I got my, my basketball. Any idea why I'm dressed like this? 3-3 three, three basketball? So remember, we've had our three-on-three -three basketball tournament going all week. Uh, we uh, today finished up with the boys. The girls finished up yesterday. So we have our top third, fourth, and fifth grade boys and girls teams. Uh, we've identified them. And tomorrow, I mean, today, today, uh, December 3rd, uh, Colfax is bringing over their champion uh, three-on-three players for girls 
and boys third, fourth, and fifth grade. And we're going to have a big tournament this afternoon at school. What do you think about that? That's going to be really fun. It sounds yeah. so cool. Now, girls, uh, what do we, what do you want all of our uh, students that are participating in this competition? What should they remember so that we can make sure that we have a great tournament today? I think to have good sportsmanship. Yes. Yes. And to have fun. You got to remember to have fun. That is right. Now, we, I, we put together a little video for everybody that's participating. And even if you're not participating, uh, you're going to learn a couple things about good sportsmanship so that when we have our friends from Colfax come over today, uh, we uh, really know how to have a great tournament with them. So watch this video. Here we go. Hey, everybody. It's Principal Martinez. And look who I'm with. Assistant Principal, Mr. Gordon. That's Principal Gordon. Come on. Oh, you know that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, we're here to talk to you about the Carpenter Colfax three on three basketball tournament. Notice how I said yeah. Carpenter yeah. Colfax three on three basketball. Yeah, it's tournament. alphabetical order. That's, that's, uh, that's all. It is. Okay, come on. All we're right. not just principals, we're also coaches for the three on three tournament. And we're fired up here to bring you some rules, some do's and don'ts for good sportsmanship. So you can make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. That was my line. Yeah, I, I thought of that. I'm pretty sure that was my line. Listen, everybody, we want you to have a great tournament. So here are some do's and don'ts at the Carpenter Colfax three-on-three -three basketball tournament. Do have a positive attitude. Come on, do your best. Don't gloat or taunt the other team when you're winning. Oh, that's a horrible shot. Carpenter Coors, one of Carpenter losers. Do support your teammates even when they miss a shot. You'll get them next time. Don't bribe the ref. Hey, if you give him the point, I'll give you six Cougar coupons. Do pass the ball to your teammates. Don't use common core math to confuse the scorekeeper. No, no, here, let me help you. Okay, look, you got the dots up top here. Okay, there's a number bond involved. That's an eight, that's a three, because look, at the end of the day, we all know two and seven makes eight. Or just do a tape diagram or something. Do always follow COVID protocol. Here we go. <laughs> Don't try to enroll a professional in your school so they can play on your team. All right, let me see if I can get my old buddy LeBron to answer. Hey, LeBron, it's me, it's Principal Martinez. Hey, listen, I know you're a little old to play a third grader and be on our basketball team, but have I told you about our award-winning teachers? Oh, I have? Well, what if I offered you a spot on the morning announcements? Don't trash talk. Carpenter? You guys need a carpenter all these old buildings around here. Colfax? You better get some cold gate for that bad breath. Do shake the other team's hands. Don't shake the other team's sodas. Not that way. Give your best effort. Do always dress appropriately. <laughs> Don't insult the other school's teachers and staff. Your staff is so useless. Your oldest sister principal used to just take naps all day and is off. That was, that was me, that was me. Yes, so you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Do congratulate the other team on a job well done. Good game. That was fun. Yeah. Don't replace the ball with a pumpkin.
So those are the 22 rules of sportsmanship. Hopefully you wrote them down. That's right, and if everyone follows those rules, we can make sure everyone has a great time at our tournament, no matter who wins. That's right, go, go uh, Cougars, huh? Yeah, go, go so Colfax. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, excuse me, excuse me one second. LeBron? Oh, LeBron, we, I can't do teacher requests. Sorry, buddy. Okay, all right, thanks a lot. All right, that comes to us from our Positive Behavior Support Committee, encouraging everybody participating in the three-on-three -three tournament to have great sportsmanship. El, what do you think? That must be a really fun, especially if everybody has great sportsmanship. It's going to be a lot of fun if everybody remembers that. Hava, what do you think? The pumpkin. <laughs> replacing ball with the pumpkin i was like about to pass out laughing i was it was really funny and the music just made it even more funny but it was let, let's be serious for a second that was really important everyone needs to follow sport sportsmanship rules and be safe and yeah whoever wins we want to act the same way regardless if we win or lose today so it's awesome that everybody has made it this far and you're playing in the games so make sure that you are humble and you are respectful to all of our guests today, right? Ladies, let's do the words of wisdom. Boys and girls, every day we listen to a few words of wisdom so that we can remember to be the best that we can be. But there is an even better way, by paying attention to the ways of those we admire and respect, those a little older and wiser. When we see a teacher or a faith leader being kind and patient, it's an example for us to follow. It teaches us how to be more kind and patient. When we see a police officer or firefighter being brave, it teaches us to be brave. When we see a parent being honest, it's an example of how to be honest. Today, remember this English proverb. A good example is a best sermon. Learn from the good example of others and then try to be a good example yourself. With something to think about, this is Mr. Martinez. And Al. And Tava. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Ladies, have a great oh, Friday. Yeah, Hava? Um, for the basketball team, um, I wish you luck, Farah. And then Hava, well, uh, tell us about uh, Hanukkah. What, what night are we on? Oh, it's the, it's the fifth night of Hanukkah. And I hope everyone has a great night of Hanukkah. Wait, no, it's the sixth. Sixth it's night. It's the sixth yeah. night of Hanukkah. Right. I hope everyone has a great night of Hanukkah. And um, happy holidays. All right. I'll see you guys on campus. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.